Hello people, right, um, been away from the charts for a few days doing family stuff so um, those who follow me on Twitter will have wondered what was going on probably. Um, nothing urgent, just uh, DIY stuff, outdoor jobs, fencing and whatnot. And um, uh, now I'm back, I wanted to knock out a quick video because I'm not uh, hitting them out at the rate I used to and I wanted to firstly um, mention that a couple of the guys on Twitter had mentioned uh, um, a, uh, I think it's a YouTube channel, I'm hoping I've found the right one, the Wicks Don't Lie, and um, it, uh, I managed to watch a part of one video and I felt it was um, really quite uh, worthwhile because, mainly because it uh, highlighted something that I've known about but probably don't mention enough on my videos and that is these areas of um, huge areas of uh, green and red on your charts and how when we get that and we're trading against it in other words if we've got a trigger to uh, signal us to the downside here uh, then we could um, uh, have a good run to the uh, sorry, a, a, yeah, a trigger to the downside would have a good run against all of this because this is this is just clear price moving as opposed to all this sort of uh, um, sideways motion here. Now, I will come back to that quickly in a moment, but firstly, I want to describe uh, mention a few things that have changed on the charts. This is the indicator, the 2B reversal indicator. It makes things look a little bit untidy on the chart for what I'm explaining now, so I'm going to take that off. Uh, there it is there and uh, thanks for Aaron for that I love the indicator in case you're watching this knock that off we've got a new indicator on here daily open line and what I've done is I've knocked off all of my uh, EMAs because I don't use them in the strategy the only reason I like the EMA is really to trade back to it when we're overextended so I have kept one on the five minutes just uh, it's the hourly ATMA which is the 96 on the five minute and um, and that's it rest of the chart no EMAs because they just clutter the chart up and what I've done instead is put this uh, daily open on here because when you look at the ADR what I know what I realize is it's from high to low it's not from the open to the high and as such you know your rubber band will not really be um, uh, sort of pulling back to where we started at the, on the day, as it were. I hope that makes sense. So in my opinion, this is a better um, thing to have. It's a super little indicator, so we've not got all the EAs on there, uh, EMAs rather, but you can see the indicator. There's the open, uh, the dotted line I'm looking at. There's the open, this white dotted line. So when we were all the way down here, all we have to do really is just uh, slap our um, our uh, crosshairs on there and you can see you're 126 pips away from um, the uh, open so highly likely if you get a signal you can have a go so that's that indicator you can find it on um, Forex Factory just look for a daily open uh, indicator it is actually called daily open line and it is uh, on Forex Factory. If I get a chance I'll dig it out and uh, I'll put a link on my uh, link to indicators. So that's the um, my endeavour to tidy the the um, charts up slightly and um, I feel this has more value than um, EA, EMAs and as much as I like the ATMA and the 10s and 12s and 15s and 50s everyone's got their own choice but one as you know I'm a horizontal line trader um, in every respect. Candlestick highs, wicks, uh, open and closes, what I call the flip zone or price pivot zones, uh, and then uh, all these various uh, ranges. So that's it, guys. New level. It tidies the charts up quite a lot, I think, and, um, and uh, then allows us to concentrate on price. So back to what these, um, these uh, guys on all... Um, the guy on um, the Wix lie chart is 
basically when you've got a nice run of green so if you've got a, a, a break of red then you know you're going to get a serious bounce because buyers and sellers were, sellers were having a fight but if you've got a nice run of uh, red down here what I meant was red between green should I say if you've got a nice run of red once you've broken a level then it stands to reason it should go up to um, into this area here which is uh, if I'm um, correct because I've only watched a part of one video but it reminded me of what I knew always my flip zones uh, are the support and resistance areas that uh, they talk about on uh, the wicks don't lie and what I liked about what they do there and I think this is important to mention that's why I made this video in fact is how he uh, manages the stops and the um, take profits and I think you need to go and watch his videos for that but basically um, what I saw was they were using an M30 chart minimum and, and I think he likes the M30s for his stop so, so let's just take a random entry suppose you were entering uh, well let's do a better let's find a better long entry suppose you were trading against this uh, massive amount of red to the downside when he got a trigger to enter which would have potentially been uh, probably somewhere above here uh, a sort of support area or resistance area should I say then you would enter on the break of that candle there and your stop would be below the low so effectively your stop if I remember what he said correctly would be that mount and in reality the target would be somewhere around there well there because uh, that's where you've got problem area but in my opinion the easiest way to find your um, your flip zones if you like or support and resistance areas is just to go up a time frame and then you can look for and remember this is a daily chart so um, your flip zones are these areas here where price opens and closes or closes and opens and uh, that becomes in my opinion an easy way and I've talked about this many many times on previous videos but there's so many of them now that's probably missed um, as you can see all the wicks are there that's why these wicks work so well um, and I've known about this and I've studied it years and years ago um, but I thought it was a timely um, time if you like for a better expression to remind um, us all about that you know everywhere you get a flip where you get a close and an open uh, you will get uh, a potential target now and I feel sometimes I feel bad about this I'm a scalper and it's not always the best way I know people want to have a better reward risk as it were it sounds to me like uh, these guys on the wick zone or the guy that runs the channel um, is uh, you know is professing a really really good way of limiting your risk and um, and uh, increasing your target if you have prefer to trade that way I'm in and out of my trades because I know I'm gonna have a problem if I entered here I'm gonna have a problem here and as you can see we've got drawdown because there's a there's a flip zone going on there you know um, I know I'm gonna have problems here because that is a clear flip zone price is closed and then opened and as you can see we got it and if we go down a time frame on that particular one you'll probably find um, a, a consolidation area on the daily well there is there close open doji and uh, open and then down so clear flip zone there clear uh, wick zone if you want to call it that and clear uh, potent place that target pulled back so the point of this video was two or three EMAs not necessary they just mess up the chart daily open useful because it can tell you where how far price is actually away from um, the open as opposed to if I'm not misunderstood just the high and the low and then uh, so you can get these good better indications of pullbacks clearer in my opinion possibly and then um, 
talking about how to um, see where the best profitable runs are likely to be so you know a plan could be look for something like this and then do the best to um, find the best entry and as always um, two disclaimers I'm always trading three candle reversals for my what, a, what you could call the power entry and the RSI histo bust pullback break and close up and then um, I just trade to the first areas of uh, resistance where a no price will reverse on me whereas uh, these other guys are using a bit more um, uh, uh, money management I suppose the word would be to trade uh, these these um, gaps as it were open space I think he calls it and I've used that expression before now as well you break up through all of this rubbish to find get yourself into open space and then you make use of these areas much same as that was all green there once you've broken down here there was a trade down there and we could easily find why this stopped if we look on the higher time frames and that's something I don't think he mentions that often just a higher time frame there's a flip zone you know you're going to have a problem at that point there where um, price stalled and hey presto that's where that area went down to so that's a lot of that green stuff and also you could just say resistance becomes support uh, becomes support again so I know there's a quite a lot to take in with this video but I wanted to make it while I, it was fresh in my mind uh, I will be watching a few more of the wick zones if I've got any of that wrong then um, you know I apologize but regardless it's um, you know it's uh, it's pretty much a no-brainer I've talked about this before as PPZ price pivot zones I think that's shaken from the James 16 thread um, on Forex Factory fantastic thread that's been going on for decades now I think and uh, or ever since Forex Factory started or as I call it the flip zone where the price creates these wicks so in the words of the uh, great wicks don't lie wicks don't lie <laughs> thanks for watching have a great weekend